I'm getting tired of talking to you. Go upstairs and wash your hands. Hi. Hey, Clifford. What's up, Rochelle? Oh my gosh, what are you doing here? Delivering pizza? Yeah, I'm delivering pizza. Come on in. What are you doing delivering pizza? Well, it's just a little side gig to get some extra cash. Extra cash for what? What happened to that big time job you were supposed to have? Something in doing something in finance. I'm not doing that anymore. Well, why not? It just didn't work out. What do you mean it didn't work out? Wasn't you supposed to be making like two hundred thousand dollars a year? How does two hundred thousand dollars a year not work out? It just wasn't all it was cracked up to be. I needed a change. What? Like were you burned out or something? Nah. Yeah. Well, man, it's whatever. Pizza is fifteen seventy five. Don't brush me off. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. Come on, Clifford, it's me. From way back in the day, remember? The person who helped you fight when Darnell and Tyrone tried to jump you? <laughs> <laughs> Company was corrupt. Really? Corrupt, corrupt, like Amron corrupt? Yeah. Did they try to steal the people's pension? Tried to. Did they go to jail? Nah. Why not? The way they was doing it, technically it wasn't illegal, but it was like, quote unquote, a gray area. Oh. So they were still gonna do people dirty and try to take innocent people's money. So you quit? I got fired over my big, dumb, stupid mouth. <laughs> you were snitching? Yeah, man, I'm snitching. <laughs> Stop snitching. Cliff. All right, man. Oh, my God. You a snitch. Go ahead with the snitching stuff, man. Why I you snitch, Cliff? That, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just playing. Yeah, it's I'm not, just kidding. That's not funny. I'm just kidding. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Well, did they get the employees' money? Nah, they can't now. They being watched by everybody. Well, at least that's good. Not for me. Everything they were doing really wouldn't affect me. I'd have still got my money if I kept my mouth shut. Dang, Clifford. That's pretty messed up. Oh, no, 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 no change. You can keep your change. This ain't no sympathy tip, is it? Come on now. All right, man. I'm just making sure <laughs> you're not going to hit me on the nut, y'all. Well, listen, you know where I live, so don't be a stranger. Most definitely. How's the family? Everybody's good. They all get on my nerves. I know though. that's right. Yeah. Well, you tell everybody I asked about it. Okay. All right. We'll see you. Pizza delivery. Pizza delivery. Pizza delivery. Did you order a pizza? Yeah. Close the door.
The tool is A75. Your total is 875. You're not the regular delivery guy. No, I usually work later. You haven't been delivering long, have you? About three weeks. Your total is 875. What did you do before this? Sir, do you want the pizza? Uh, of course I want the pizza. I ordered it, didn't I? Well, your total is eight seventy-five. Hey, wait a minute. I asked for an iron soda. Look, I only bring what they give me. <laughs> I mean, you got to check the ticket yourself. You can't never trust them to give you the right soda. The ticket says a pineapple African sunshine. See? See what? How they make mistakes. Look, the ticket says a pineapple African sunshine. I bought you a pineapple African sunshine. I don't care what the ticket says. I, I ordered an orange soda. Look, man, if you don't want it, I'll take it back. Thank you. Are you going to bring me an orange soda instead? No, I'm not going to bring you back an orange soda, sir. If it ain't one thing, it's another. Don't be huffing all over top of me and everything. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's my pepperonis? You ordered a cheese pizza. No, I didn't. I ordered a pepperoni pizza. You must have bought me the wrong order. No, I didn't. Well, if you didn't, I would have a pepperoni pizza and an orange soda. All right, man. Look, I'll call the shop. Uh. Yeah. It's Cliff. Was it an order for a small pepperoni pizza and an orange African sunshine soda? All right. So you're going to go check. <laughs> no. All right. Thank you. Look, there's no order for a small pepperoni pizza and an orange African sunshine soda. Well, somebody messed up. I need my pepperoni. All right. Well, look, I'll take this back. You can call the shop, make another order. The next pizza delivery guy will bring it out to you. But why is the other delivery guy going to bring it? How come you can't bring it? Because I'm not. Wait, wait, wait. wait. That's all right. That's all right. I'll take what you got. I can't change that. You got to bring change when you do delivery. Look, man, I got change. I just don't have change for a hundred. Well, this is all I have. Well, I can't change it. Well, then, then run down to the lottery place and get change. I'm not going to run down to the lottery place, man. Uh, do, do you want to make a deal? I'll trade you this stool for the pizza and the soda. What am I going to do with a stool? Uh, well, most people sit on them. But once you take it, you can do whatever you want. Look, man, I don't want a stool. I want eight seventy-five. My stools are worth much more than $8.75. Let me finish it up and you can come back and get it. I don't want it. Well, look, I'm really hungry. And my doctor says that when I feel like this, I have to eat something or I'm going to get sick. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but what am I supposed to do about that? Well, if I give you my hundred dollars, would you bring back my change after you get back from the pizza parlor? All right, man. I'll bring the change back. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Are you sure? I'm going to miss you. Change. Ah, it's time to wake him up. It's good to let him rest at least uh, two days a month. He'll let you know where you need to go. At first it will be awkward, but it won't be long before you're in sync. It's just like dancing. 
I know I hope I didn't get on your nerves too bad. No, you're good. You know you just gave me a 20, right? Yeah, that's all right. I want you to have it. Okay. You know you, uh, you're you pretty trusting. How'd you know I was going to bring back the chain? Well, if you didn't, I would have put a whipping on you. <laughs> all right, man. Thank you. Homie, all right, all right. What's going on with that? Strong for an old man, ain't it? I knew you would bring back my change because you can't help but do the right thing, even when it hurts. Wherever you were before you started delivering pizzas, you, you weren't supposed to be there. Remember, your occupation should never get in the way of your morals. All right, man. Whatever. Not my blood. I can't believe it. Oh my God, it's really you. Yo, what's up? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh my God, I can't believe it's you. Man, oh my God. You left so fast, you didn't give me a chance to thank you. They would've killed me if you ain't come along. Excuse me? What, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> what? They, they would've tried to rape me last night, yo. Yo, somebody tried to rape you? Yeah, what you think they was doing? What I think who was doing? You don't want nobody to know, do you? Know what? I won't tell nobody. You won't tell nobody what? The three guys that tried to rape me last night. You saved me. Yo, I really think you got me confused with somebody else, but are you all right? No, I don't. I was looking right at you. I know exactly who I'm talking to. You, you punched in the glass window. Maybe it wasn't you. Your, your hand would be all cut up and everything. Look, I know who I, I know who I'm talking to. I know it was you. So hold up, this dude punched through glass. Yeah, he gripped and yanked the one bull and pulled him through the the freaking window. Yo, what, was it a lot of blood? They was all bleeding. Well, not him. I, he wasn't bleeding. They they didn't even get a chance to touch him. 
So what did the police say? The police didn't come. Didn't you call them afterwards? No, for what? Because three men tried to rape you, man. The police wasn't going to do nothing. Yo, they'll do something, man. Just call them and make a report. They not gonna believe me. These three men tried to rape me and this one guy in his underwear came and beat him up with one hand. But how does that sound to you? Man, you, you got a strong grip. Look, man. If you don't do nothing else, call the cops or something. You don't want it to happen to nobody else. Is that old man in there? Nah, he going. You here to pick up that stool? Nah, I ain't here about a stool, bro. But aren't you the piece of delivery guy? Yeah. Well, he left a stool back there for you. You know where he went? Nah, nah, he, he, he just packed up and left, man. You know, you know where he lives? Nah, to tell you the truth, man, the bull was like a secret agent undercover superhero or something. I ain't even know his last name. The bull ain't say much of nothing, but I didn't care as long as he paid me for the space up in there, you know what You I mean? got a number for him, something? Nah, I ain't got no number, man. He, he used the phone in here from the store, called me last night and told me that he wanted to make sure that you got that stool, man. And then when I came in this morning, he was gone. So he, I mean, no way you can get in touch with him? Nah, why, he owe you money or something? Nah, it ain't nothing like that, bro. Oh, ain't well, like that. look, if you want the stool, it's back there, all right? think you have a lot of questions, but you don't. I already answered them, and it's time for him to move on. Time to wake him up. It's good to let him rest at least two days a month. He'll let you know where you need to go. At first, it'll be awkward, but it won't be long before you're in sync. It's like dancing. P.S. Bullets and cars are okay, but don't try to stop a train. Trust me on this. Also, get a mask. Thank you. 
Yo, does that belong to you? What will tomorrow bring because today you failed? Failed because the unwritten code of the streets has your head swelled. But has you thinking it's cool not to tell. But maybe if you did, the real criminal could be put in jail. All because you were afraid to say what you saw. But if something happened to you, the cops will be the first you call. Now you're a victim trying to find a witness. Knocking on door to door because you know someone saw this. This injustice that has happened upon you. Well, just a few weeks ago, you were a witness too. But you ain't seen nothing when they needed you to testify. Now you're looking for someone to be by your side. So the next time you see something going down, and you try to act like that you're not around, pretend that you're the person's body that's laying on the ground. Hi, I'm Shannon, and these are my random thoughts. The idea of my righteous hand, I had this idea for a long time, and I was looking to do it possibly as a big, full-scale feature film. Uh, and I was looking into doing that for a couple years or a year or so, and then uh, we started doing a TV show, and I said, you know what, let's do a, a half-hour episode of My Righteous Hand. You're not the regular police. Police, Jesus. <laughs> People who know me know I, that um, I'm a longtime comic book reader. I don't read much anymore, but I'm a comic book geek and a fan of comic books. And um, and so this was my comic book hero. This is my Spider-Man. This is my Spider-Man type property, my righteous hand. So this is a uh, it's a very full story. Like you got a first the first half hour of like how he gets his power, but the story is really really long and involved. There's a lot of parts to it. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah. Keep the uh, bring the pizza box up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have a graphic novel that's coming very, very soon, and I am writing the script for it now, and I'm working with some artists, and uh, so look for it very soon. I would say by the beginning of next year, on the uh, comic book newsstands, you'll see the My Righteous Hand graphic novel. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah, exactly like that. That's how we do it. <laughs> right there. <laughs> so thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, you can go to the website, outthehouse.com, or you can email me, Shannon Newby, at outthehouse.com, and I'll try to make sure I get back to every single person that sends me an email. So thank you for watching, and talk to you soon. Peace.